Hey, how's it going, Captains? Admiral Hattori here, and welcome aboard for another World of Warships video on my channel. In today's video, I am going to take a look at the Tier 10 Royal Navy battleship, the Dunderer. Now, you can acquire the ship from the Armory for 248,000 coal. If you have the coupon readily available, which most players do because it takes a while to actually get these tier 10 ships with the resources, you can bring down to 190,000 coal. I don't recall the exact number, but you can check out in the armory and apply the coupon to see how much coal you need to get this ship. So the Dunderer. This particular game is my second game with the ship, and I stopped right here because Oddly enough, even though I did very well with the ship, there were three separate occasions where I was just frustrated with this game. Which is kind of weird because if you did well in the game, normally you should celebrate, but you will see why I'm frustrated throughout the game. So what is the Dunderer? The Dunderer is a Conqueror with eight 457mm guns and these are very accurate guns. She does not have the Conqueror's or Lion's Repair Party, the Super Repair Party that you get on the Lion Conqueror and the Nelson, if you have that Tier 7 Premium um, Battleship. And overall, I consider the ship, at the moment, the best Tier 10 Battleship to play in randoms. And I make that very specific here, randoms only. In rank and clan battle, the situation is different because the way people play in randoms are completely different than clan battles in rank and at the same time the number of players in the game and how the map is set up. Everything, if the way people play in randoms, the way the map is set up, the number of players, it fits perfectly well to what the, the Dunderer does well at. And right here you're gonna witness the first frustration I had with this game and it has nothing to do with the ship it just it just happens and you're gonna see what happened right here baltimore shows broadside i fire a very accurate salvo on that broadside with ap and i score four over pen on the baltimore yeah i was in absolute disbelief so for having big guns because 457 millimeter guns are on the upper end of having big guns whereas 406 is the average at tier 10 you do a lot of damage per hit with the ap shells not only that her he shells is extremely deadly because royal navy balance ship royal navies they get the special he which has a higher fire chance and has a higher alpha so even if you fire he at ships you're still gonna do like 10,000 to 15,000 damage per hit if you hit on like a, a battleship that's fresh, fresh battleship, not not been saturated with damage, but a fresh battleship. And even if the sh ship is saturated, you're still gonna do a lot of damage. You're gonna be guaranteed damage with HE because that's how HE work. And put that together with the 63% chance of fire. If I remember that number correctly, I think it's 63 because I checked it. Yeah, it's it's an absolute monster of a ship. Now right here, I missed my first opportunity with that broadside, but the second opportunity, I'm not going to let it slide, so I'm going to aim even lower, and I managed to actually score two citadels. Now sometimes when you aim too low, you're going to hit the water embarrassingly at times, but since the thunder is so accurate, it, it is just very reliable. These guns are extremely reliable. Now the way people play in randoms is that when you're playing a battleship, most battleship player sits at medium to long range. If you're charging it, if you're charging it with the battleship, chances are, a you got lucky, and you captured a flag, and that there wasn't much resistance, or you just happen to fight players who are not taking the right strategy to take advantage that you're pushing in. Because in most cases, battleships that go in solo or charge in early game, they're gonna get he spammed to death, they're gonna get spotted permanently spotted by destroyers because battleship concealment and they're gonna get torpedo. So most battleship players who rush in early, they're gonna die. They're just gonna die. So in most cases, you're gonna find battleship players singing at medium to long range, which the Dunder with her guns is what puts her at an advantage because she has the consistent guns. Which means that if you're playing on Yamato and your angle, what the Dunder is gonna do is gonna load HE and take advantage of the fire chance and the massive alpha 
on these guns. So it doesn't matter your angle. And since you're playing Yamato, there's a good chance that maybe a destroyer just permanently spots you. Whereas the Thunder is just going to take advantage of that. And since she does have 32mm of armor, yeah, the Yamato is going to overmatch, but most battleships, AP shells are going, going to bounce. Now, with the AP, unlike the Royal Navy battleship, they have the short fuse AP, which means that there will be cases where you're unable to actually score citadel hits, you're just going to get regular penetration, and in the worst case, which happens in the Nelson a lot for me, they're going to shatter. So it's it's not it's not that great. The penetration value or the overall outcome of the Royal Navy AP isn't great on the main line. Thunderer, on the other hand, has big guns and actual AP. The AP shows that you find on uh, American battleships, Japanese battleships, and German battleship. They actually have the right fuse time, which means that you can score a lot of citadel hits at a distance if you manage to hit them, and if you don't score any citadels or you, you know you're at a distance where the the chances of scoring citadel is zero because the armor thickness is thick enough try shooting like at the kremlin for example switch to he so these guns are so perfect for a long range and, and medium range engagement accurate monster ap and monster he and right here this is my second frustration in this game and, and as you might notice i'm, I'm flinging my mouse all over for some reason, I am unable to fire my guns, and I think I know the reason why. So I have Expert Loader. At first, I had HE loaded, but once my HE was fully loaded, I swapped to the AP very quick because one of my guns was not fully loaded, so I only had 13 seconds to reload because, right, I have the Expert Loader, it cuts the time in half if you're switching from a different shell type when you have one shell type fully loaded, but the game registered as a 20 second, 26 seconds reload. Yeah, that's why even though on the UI it says that is loaded, I'm actually still reloading the guns in the background. And as a result, I was unable to fire the guns. I thought I was lagging, but it's, it's just a bug in the game that I happened to trigger at a very rare occasion. So yeah, missed the opportunity to score some Citadel on the Yamato because the Yamato, when I fired my guns, the Yamato managed to actually angle just in time, just enough to reduce the damage and bounce my shells. So yeah, my frustration was through the roof on that one. After hitting the Baltimore with four overpens, and yeah, I did get the Baltimore at the end, but still, it's, it's, I'm in disbelief. That one was extremely frustrating because I, I got no control over that. So yeah, great guns and a great, you know, great performance at medium to long range because it doesn't matter what battleship you play, I love, you know, all the ships, all the, all the battleships I play, I just hate dealing with Thunderers. It, it's, the, it's the most hated battleship I wanted to deal with because I play Curve First, big ship, I get spotted all the time. Thunders, they farm HE off of me. Or if I show Broadside, they're gonna load AP. Now, is there any problem with the Thunder? Of course, there's always a price to pay. And aside from not having the Royal Navy repair party, being a Royal Navy Balance ship, she has a raised citadel. Her deck armor is 32 millers all, all over, which means that HE spamming ships are going to take advantage of that. You, 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 you definitely lose a lot of HP very quick. So this survivability on the ship, I think is the worst survivability of all the ships when you're spotted and you're in close range. Because again, Conqueror has the, the super repair party, whereas you don't to make up for the loss of HP. And again, she doesn't have that great of a health pool since she has the Conqueror's um, hull. Usually battleship at tier 10 have 95,000 to 100,000 HP whereas I have 82,000 to 900. Which is why you see a lot of Thunderer players way out in the back or in, at medium range just fleeing HE and AP at a safe distance. Now you can take the ship at close quarters for two reasons. First reason is that she has great concealment. 12.3 kilometers, I think, which means that if you have AP and you can get on the side of a battleship at the right distance at the right time, you can devastate them. The other reason is that although she has a raised citadel, she has a very thick bell armor. And I don't remember the exact number, but it's at least 400 millimeter. So in some ways, she has Kremlin's characteristics where you can shatter shells. And you're going to see that some point near the end of the game where the enemy 
who has the Thunder, the last Thunder, I fire AP and my AP shows actually shatter at close range. Even though, yeah, it's these are big guns, right? But yeah, it just happens. So I'm gonna engage the Salva and it, it doesn't really matter what shell type I have loaded. You can be completely oblivious. But normally when I'm at this close of a range, I try to switch to AP and take advantage of a ship that shows broadside. So the Salva is guessing that, oh, I must be one of the many um, Royal Navy battleship players who just uses HE. Well, I switched to AP and I'm gonna take a shot at the Slava's broadside here. Now Slava has a very weird bow. It's 25 millimeter bow, but the Russians did something with the Citadel with it, which makes it very difficult to Citadel um, through the bow, but I just happened to get lucky there to manage to score two hits on the Citadel, but then my next Salva from the front turrets were unable to actually do anything to the ship. So yeah, I'm going to take out this, well actually, I'm going to do do one more big salvo I think on the bow of this Slava and the friendly Thunderer will take out this uh, Slava. Yeah, I was unable to secure the kill. But yeah, you, you can be completely oblivious about the ship and use exclusively AP because you think you might play like American Battleship, just use AP all the time. Or you can just play with HE all the time. You, you, you're still going to do well with the ship as long as you don't get you know, delete it at close range and you play to your advantage. Take, a, take advantage of the speed, take advantage of the consumement, and take advantage of these guns. And make sure you don't get HE farm. Always use your concealment to avoid being HE farm. Disengage when you need to because sometimes, although you want to pull the trigger, you shouldn't pull the trigger. And right here, if you look in the chat, these are the players I hate the most. There's like two players, and one of them is the Montana, who's like wondering why is this Dunder way out in the back? But as you might have noticed, or witnessed, I was fighting a Slava and a Shikashima earlier with, I don't know, some other ships might be on the other side of the island, but primarily a Slava, which is why I'm on this side of the map, because I was trying to kite the Slava from ramming me or getting a Citadel on me by show broadside. These are players I just absolutely hate because they have no clue what's going on, on the other side of the map, but yet criticize you for no reason. And there's another guy who's being sarcastic saying, sure, I did something, I was fighting a Slava, but yeah. That, 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 that just puts the tip, tip of my frustration in the game. First, the Baltimore. Second, the bug. And then third, these, these guys are just complaining about my performance or why I'm on the other side of the map when I'm clearly contributing as much as I can in the game. But yeah, I digress. Back to the game, I'm going to switch AP because there is a Bronzite Thunder, but she's behind the island, and there's a Hindenburg. Now, if you hear anything about the 457 Nimmer guns, they are very deadly against cruisers at this tier. Uh, a, lot, a lot of cruiser players just hate dealing with battleships like the Ohio Thunder or Yamato because they just slice through the armor and do a lot of damage. 406 is bad enough because 406 can overmatch cruiser armor, but they don't stick or do as much damage as 4, 457, obviously. So right here, Hindenburg shows broadside. Gonna take advantage of the great glorious power of these guns. Fire the AP and score some massive Citadel hit here. Well, one Citadel hit and several overpens with one full penetration. This gun, this. This ship is all about the guns. If you're looking for great guns, get the ship. And in my opinion, like I said, it's the strongest battleship in randoms because the way randoms play. There's a lot of players in randoms, people playing at medium to long range with their battleships because if you rush in with your battleship early game, you're gonna get sunk early unless you get lucky or just happen to play in your favor. But she really does well at long range. She's the king of long range, next to the Slava. But Slava is really reliant on you showing broadside. Whereas this ship doesn't care. It, you show broadside, you can fire your 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 AP and get their broadside. If you angle, you fire HE or just stick to HE because that's the most reliable source of damage. And right here you're gonna witness the power of that belt armor. So Thunder is somewhat angled, but it looks like she's not that well angled. But I hit that 400 some millimeter built armor and shatter four of my shells with these big guns. That kind of tells you <laughs> what the Thunder can do at close range. And that's, that's the only benefit. That's the only benefit at close range, that, that, that very thick belt armor. But if you show broadside in the Thunderer, 
we all know the story. How that gonna go? I, I guess it's not as bad as the Yamato because the Yamato is by far the worst battleship to show broadside. Yeah, I'm gonna score some big Citadel hits on the Dunder. So aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any plans to get in the Dunder, I have a very good feeling because there's a lot of people playing the Dunders, which is why I got the Dunder, since this ship drives me nuts. Wargaming is going to probably remove this from the armory, just like what they did to the Musashi, Jean Bart, and Missouri. So aside from that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time on World of Warships.